Hello YouTube, it's Talia here, your vegan amiga, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have made a delicious bowl of vegan pokey. I'm so happy about this. It is honestly one of my favorite, favorite meals ever. Um, and it is actually made with watermelon. And if you haven't tried this, you must. I know I feel like I say that about everything, but this is one of those things that just will blow your mind. It's so freaking good. You will not miss the fish at all. And it's just so fresh and light, especially for the summer. It's perfect. Not heavy at all. Very nutritious. And it just hits the freaking spot. If you're craving pokey, this is it. This is the thing to make. So I will link the recipe that I use. I always, I found it and I've used it one time and I've just been using it since. Um, so yeah, let's just get right in because it smells amazing. Okay, I have a spoon here because I just feel like that's just going to make my life so much easier. But I also have some chopsticks just in case because um, I do have like some pickled ginger in here. So I'll just tell you what I have in here. But first, I'm going to take a, a big bite because I just got to look at that. Ugh. Oh, my God. Here we go. My mouth is literally watering. First bite. Mm. It's just insane how flavorful this is and just how well the watermelon takes on all the flavors that you put in there. So basically, the brine that it sits in is, is made of um, a lot of soy sauce, mostly soy sauce, and then there's um, sesame oil, rice wine vinegar, red chili flakes, um, minced garlic, sesame seeds, mm, green onion, I feel like there's more, some pepper obviously, just a whole bunch of delicious flavor flavorful <laughs> ingredients. So yeah, you basically just chop up your watermelon, put it in that brine or whatever it's called, the, that um, liquid, that flavorful mixture. Let it sit for about an hour. More is obviously, or longer is obviously better. Um, so it'll just like hold in that, that flavor. The longer it sits. Um, and then it's really, really good when it's like nice and cold too. Um, and then, yeah, just put it on top of rice. Some white rice. You could do brown rice if you wanted to. I have white rice here. Um, and then you just top it with whatever you want. So if you want like a tra traditional poke bowl, I have cucumbers, jalapenos, green onions, some pickled ginger, um, some sesame seeds, and I also added some more sesame oil on top because I love sesame oil. And then I also made my own vegan starch mayo. Um, I also, oh, I have a lime here as well because I love lime. Oh, that's also in the brine or whatever that um, the uh, watermelon sits in. Gives it all the flavor. Um, so I just have a little bit more lime here just in case if I want some. Um, but then I also love putting avocado in this. I don't currently have an avocado that's ripe right now, which is really sad. But that honestly adds so much to this. Like the creaminess of avocado. Oh. But honestly, just like this, it's perfect. So fucking good. Excuse my language. I just get very excited about this dish. Um, and actually, the first time I ever tried this 
was at my friend's um, wedding. Oh my gosh, I don't actually know if I've... Have I made a video with this vegan pokey? Because if I did, I feel like I already told this story. Shoot, I guess I should have looked before I started filming if I made this video. I mean, there's no harm in making a video of the same food, you know, but I want to like repeat a story and bore you guys if I've already told you the story, you know? Mm. I'm gonna get some of this pickled ginger. Mm -mm -mm. With some of the jalapeno, because this jalapeno is freaking spicy. I left the seeds on and everything. And it is, it burns. Mm. For some reason I'm not someone that likes to like mix everything together I know there's a lot of people like to do that but I just prefer to like take a little bit here a little bit there you know because then you can kind of mix up the flavors as you go along whereas if you like mix it all together you're kind of stuck with the same flavors i don't know i mean it's still good either way but this is just how i enjoy eating my food mm. let me check to see if i've ever made a video with this vegan pokey because if I have not then I don't think I've told the story but if I have I'm pretty sure I've told the story of where I tried this first see my mouth is like burning currently oh my gosh I don't think I've whoa oh yeah I did a long time ago well not a long time ago a year ago should I just tell you guys anyway Maybe in case you missed that video. Basically, the first time I tried this pokey, this vegan pokey, was at my friend's wedding that uh, took place literally the week before the pandemic just like blew the whole world up. Um, so we went, it was in Vegas, and it was at um, Margaritaville? Yeah, that's where it was. It was at Margaritaville. The reception was at Margaritaville. She had her, like, ceremony at, like, one of the little wedding chapels. Um, but, yeah, so she was, my friend was so kind as to let the restaurant know that I was vegan and that I would me need my own separate meal because what they were, they had, like, a buffet style and it was all, like, meat and dairy and stuff. So she totally didn't have to do this i told her a million times I was like don't worry about me like i can always just get something else you know i can order a salad you know whatever it doesn't i don't need you to you know I, can, I don't mind buying my own thing you know but she insisted and she got me their vegan option and it happened to be a watermelon pokey and it was so amazing it was my first time trying it mm. and all my friends that were sitting in, at my table were like dying over it they loved it too they all tried it and they all wanted more they were like oh my god i should have said i was vegan because it was honestly that good a little squeeze of lime never hurt so yeah um that was the first time i tried it and after that i was obsessed I looked up a recipe and luckily Tasty, the um, the YouTube Tasty, I don't know, they have like, it's, they have a website, but I first saw Tasty on YouTube, or maybe even Instagram, or TikTok, one of those, whatever, some social media, um, but yeah, that's always the recipe I refer to because it's just so freaking good. Mm.
and it's so easy. Once you throw all the like spices and ingredients together, you just gotta put the watermelon in there and let it sit, make some rice, cut up some veggies, and you're good to go. And it obviously does really well in the fridge um, because the longer it sits, the longer uh, or the better flavor you're gonna get out of it. So I made this two days ago with a watermelon two days ago, and now it's like really, really flavorful. So good. Oh my gosh. And I always make so much of it. I feel like I always start out with so much, but it only gives me like three servings because I always give myself so much. And I can just devour so much of it in one sitting. It's just so delicious. Can't even tell you guys. You gotta just try it yourself. And that sriracha mayo, man. It's so good. That just adds like a nice creamy, spicy tang. Mmm. But, dude, that jalapeno is spicy. I should have taken the seeds out. It's like hitting right back here. Woo! Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put some of these jalapenos off to the side, actually. Just in case I get a really, really spicy one. We don't want that. Mm -mm -mm. Also, this pickled ginger is so good. I had bought um, a little jar of organic pickled ginger from Whole Foods. Thinking it was just a normal tasting like sushi ginger and Sean and I tried it when I brought it home and it was so bad like I don't know if it's because it's organic or excuse me I need to read maybe the ingredients or I don't know something about it was just really off did not taste good not my favorite so then I went to the grocery store yesterday and I found the sushi sushi ginger and like the little pre-made sushi section and I had to pick it up because I was like oh this looks like the stuff this looks right because the other one looked really thick too I was like hmm looks a little weird but maybe they just cut it thicker no it definitely tastes different too maybe it also just tastes different because it's like healthier <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it doesn't have sugar. I feel like that's what it was lacking. Like it wasn't as sweet as like this ginger. Mm. This is so good. I love pokey. I had a really big like pokey addiction for a long time before I became vegan. I was like constantly for lunch during uh, when I was working in the office. I'd go drive myself during my lunch break, get some poke bowls. But it actually took me a long time to first try um, raw fish. I never, like, I thought, I always thought it was disgusting. Until Sean, like, introduced it to me, and then I kind of got into it, and then that's when I started really getting into pokey. Um, but now that I'm vegan, I'm so glad that there's this option, because it's so much better than <laughs> raw sushi anyways, or raw tuna, or any type of fish. It just tastes better better for you mm. really stinking
looking good. Ooh, I tasted that jalapeno. Oh man. My nose is starting to drip because the um, jalapeno is so dang spicy. And I keep getting little pieces hidden in here. How did that even happen? I didn't mix it. I don't know. It's okay. We're gonna we're gonna power through. Don't let them see you sweat. I need to burp, but it's not coming. Sometimes we'll be at a restaurant and I'll like be sit there. It is. I'll be sitting there and I'll I can't like burp, so I like ask Sean to burp me, <laughs> and he'll just like pat my back and I'll quietly burp. But it honestly does help to just like sit here and give yourself a little tappy tap. Getting down to the last two bites, buddies. Buddies, I've never called you guys that before. Sorry, that was a little weird. I meant to say friends. I'm gonna say buddies. Okay, I see a piece of jalapeno, but it looks like there's no seeds. So, we're just gonna go for it. Plus, I have some, uh, a little bit of everything in this bite, so that's good. We have some rice. Some ginger, cucumber, green onion. Right, let's just eat this because I can't fit any more on this <laughs> spoon. Oh my gosh. Oh, here we go. Last bite. Mmm. -hmm. That is way too good. these chopsticks real quick to shovel all the leftover rice in my spoon I can't seem to get it with my finger in the spoon I'm trying to avoid <laughs> those last bits of jalapeno on here oh my gosh well that was cute Yum. So good, guys. That is amazing. Man. That jalapeno woke me up for sure guys I am perfectly content that was the best lunch I could ever ask for honestly so good so fresh so tasty so healthful honestly guys I definitely recommend this recipe um, it'll be like I said linked in my bio definitely check it out um, and also let me know if you ever tried um, vegan pokey I know there's other ways to make vegan pokey I've actually tried um, a tomato pokey, which is like very interesting. I was very curious to see how that would be and it was honestly so good You can kind of tell it's tomato by the texture and like the look of it, but the flavor was so on point um, 
yeah, but definitely the texture is not the same as doing like cubes of watermelon. Um, it's obviously, you know, I'm gonna be real with you guys, the watermelon isn't gonna be the same texture as like tuna. But honestly, I honestly prefer that. I'm not looking for like my vegan substitutes to have that like same meaty texture. But if you are, there are other um, options. There's like vegan tuna, actual vegan tuna out there now. And it looks like, I've never tried, I've never seen it in person, but I've seen videos and it looks like it would have the same type of texture and consistency as tuna. So that's something to consider if you're into that. Um, but anyways guys thank you so so much for watching i really really appreciate it please like and subscribe if you like what you see here and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys Mwah.